That's why I wrote you a letter. Cause you see, I write so much better than I speak. And I need to tell you, you were my best friend. Hey guys, it's Kaylee and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is currently 7.13 a.m. We had a situation at 5, so... <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be doing a chatty get ready with me and talking a bit about what I'm going to do for my self-care day today, um, why I feel like I need one, how I've been coping with the whole quarantine situation in South Africa, and yeah. so. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Before we start, I need to talk about this ring. <laughs> so it is not, it is not my ring. This is my best friend's ring. She forgot it at my house when they were taking care of my dogs when we were in Durban. I haven't seen her in a little over two months now, I think it is. And I really miss her today, so I put it on. And I can't go see her because we're obviously in quarantine. So I'm wearing it today to just like have her close to my heart, you know. And the reason it is on this hand is because it only fits on this finger. I have very chunky fingers. <laughs> we're gonna start with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, Stick Foundation. And then we're gonna use the Trees Cosmetics HD Liquid Radiance Foundation. Okay, so the reason that I feel like, okay, we've been in quarantine for about, actually it's three weeks today. So we've been in quarantine for three weeks. Uh, it has been extended with two weeks. Um, and, you know, I've, I'm a homebody. I, I like staying home. I don't mind it. I thought, you know, these few weeks are gonna go by so fast and I'm gonna be just so chill about it because obviously I, I'm an expert. I was born for this. It turns out I was not. <laughs> um, I'm starting to get a bit depressed, to be honest. Um, I've always been very, very open about my mental health issues and struggles and my state of mind and everything. The reason I'm so open about all of this is because when I was first diagnosed with depression, I didn't really know what it was. Like, I understood that I was feeling very sad and that I didn't really know what was going on. And then like, when they diagnosed me, I thought, okay, well, what does that mean? And at that age, like this was, almost 10 years ago, like this year, I've been diagnosed for 10 years. And at that time, there, people weren't really talking about depression and mental health disorders and things. So I didn't really know what was going on and I was a bit scared. I was lucky that both my parents, well not lucky, but in a way actually, that both my parents have depression because they could like, show me and help me understand it better. This is the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I've been noticing I've been a bit more depressed these last two weeks and usually when I got to this point where I wouldn't want to, I can't stay awake during the day and everything seems like a chore and everything is just takes up so much energy like I take a shower and need to take a nap afterwards because I'm so tired and that's the thing about depression that people don't often get, it's, it's really exhausting um, and usually when I got to this point I would just kind of go have coffee with someone or go to my best friend's house or like go to the movies or just get myself out of my environment to just you know like reset everything but with quarantine I can't do that I mean I can go to checkers but <laughs> it's not gonna help me like I need to get out and I need to have fun and 
with work I was distracted because I'd go into work and there were people that would make me laugh and we would have chats and I'd have coffees and like I'd be busy during the day so I wouldn't have the time to kind of get depressed you know and now like I'm still working from home but obviously a lot less because <laughs> we can't really do anything right now so yeah uh, it's just been very difficult for me to navigate everyday life. Before I set my face I'm going to do my brows just to let the products kind of just chill for a bit. I'm going to use a combination of the Essence Micro Precise Eyebrow Pencil, the Essence Eyebrow Pencil, and the shade I think this is light brown or just brown. And then the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. So, okay, the brows are done. I'm just going to clean them up a little bit with some foundation. Um, so, yeah, I've just been noticing the last few weeks things have been... Like, everyday things have been a lot more difficult for me to do. Um, and in the last few days, I've been very down in the dumps, I guess. Um, basically, I've been struggling to just, you know, get out of bed. Um, I've been, since the quarantine started, really, I haven't been eating right, um... I don't remember the last time I had actual vegetable. Um, I haven't been drinking as much water as I used to. Like, I've just been neglecting myself. And I think that's been adding to my depression a lot more. Um, so that is why I've decided that today... I actually just literally decided it this morning. Like, I didn't even go to bed going, okay, tomorrow you're sorting, you're sorting your shit out. Um, I woke up this morning due to... A whole situation that I'll talk about later in the video um, and then I kind of just decided you know what today's the day so what I'm gonna do today is basically first I'm gonna <laughs> set my face with the essence all about matte fixing compact powder um, have a very nutritious breakfast probably have some eggs and an avocado um, and then, like, I'm going to drink a lot of water today. I'm going to cut back on my coffee. Uh, I've been drinking so much coffee. I'm not going to have, like, ice cream or anything today. I just need to, you know, take care of my body today. And I feel like that's already going to really help me feel a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some bronzer, blush and highlight. So I'm going to use the bronzer and... Uh, the bronzer and blush from the Makeup Revolution um, Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. Um, I'm going to use, so this is the bronzer and this is the blush that I'm going to use. And then I'm going to use the highlight from the Revolution uh, Highlighter Reloaded Just My Type. Now that the base is done, we're going to start with the eyes. Okay, I'm um, using the... First of all, I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm just going to use my concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Kami Make Magic Palette. I did a full, like, first impression swatching and everything. I will link that down below so you can see that. Um, absolutely been enjoying this palette so, so, so much. I feel like doing a pink look. Like, not too pink, but like a, yeah, a subtle pink look. We're going to do that. So I'm going to start with the shade Free Hugs, which is this one down here. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the shade Overcome, which is this one. Now that we've had the whole heavy topic, um, I feel like we should do something a bit more light-hearted um, this morning. <laughs> Oh gosh, I can't even believe I'm having this conversation. So what happened this morning was, as South Africans, I feel like everybody can relate, kind of. Everybody's been kind of stressed about where they're going to get more alcohol. 
um, because it, <laughs> we're South Africans, okay? That's what we do. We drink and we bry. <laughs> we don't do much else. Um, so, <laughs> my brother and my dad found this recipe about two or three days ago for pineapple beer to make your own pineapple beer. What you need is yeast, pineapples, and I think water. I'm not sure, I didn't really pay attention. I don't drink, so <laughs> doesn't bother me. But anyway, and uh, <laughs> so they had to put, they put the mixture in glass jars, like glass bottles, and they put it on top of the fridge because it needed to stand very still for three days. So I was supposed to be able to get it open tomorrow. And, and like I'm sleeping this morning and it's like around 5 a.m. when this happened. And next moment I just hear this massive bang and glass shattering. Now my room is downstairs so I'm the first line of, of defense in my house. Like I'm lying there thinking my time has come. I'm gonna die today. <laughs> like, I just, I, I can't tell you how big of a fright I got. Like, it felt like my heart just leaped out of my chest and left me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I had such a fright. I really thought somebody was breaking in and I'm thinking, well, what am I supposed to do? Like, I don't have a weapon to defend myself. I don't <laughs> know how I'm supposed to handle this. I'm lying in my bed covering my ears like that's gonna do something. <laughs> Oh gosh, so my dog jumps off of the bed and runs and I'm waiting for him to start barking so I can like kind of assess the situation. And he doesn't start barking and I can hear my parents coming downstairs and I'm thinking, oh, okay, everything's fine now. I still feel very, very numb and my legs feel like jelly. But I walk to the kitchen because that's where they stood. <laughs> my dad's just standing there looking, just like, I don't even know what the expression was that he had on his face. He's just like, right, okay. So I go, so what happened? <laughs> Turns out the bottle exploded. Okay, so now I'm gonna, <laughs> before I continue. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade You Do You. So, turns out the pressure in the bottle got too much for the glass bottle and it exploded, like literally exploded. There's gaps in our roof now because this bottle exploded. The other one's cap just popped off, but the one bottle exploded. Now when I tell you there was glass everywhere, I've never seen that much shattered glass in my life. Like, it's in the basin, it's in the pasta bowl, it's in the fruit bowl, it's in the coffee mugs that still need to be washed, it's in the dog's food bowls, it was everywhere, it's still everywhere, like they still need to finish cleaning it. Um, <laughs> That is the reason that I woke up that early. Because then I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to go to bed now. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't even, like... My dad just stood there asking me, like, how do you reckon I do this now? Like, how do you even start cleaning? <laughs> oh, guys, and the smell. The smell is literally the worst. Like, I haven't smelled anything that bad before. I'm just going to go in with the same shades again, just to kind of place it underneath the eyes. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Bite Me, which is this beautiful pink. Okay, so I just placed that on the inner corners. And now I'm going to take the shade Love Yourself. This shade, which is more of a coral shade. And I'm going to place that more towards the inner, or like the middle to the outer corner. This is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. I've also really gotten better with like eyeliner. 
like I'm very impressed but I also feel like this really made a difference in my eyeliner game because I used to suck doing winged eyeliners and then I bought this and it's just so much easier you just kind of like done beautiful okay now I'm gonna go into some mascara this is the essence volume stylist lash extension mascara I actually planned on buying new makeup this month to try out for you guys um, and then quarantine happened and apparently makeup is not an essential I will fight them on that, but y'all. Yeah. Go in with some lip products. This is the Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in the shade Lost in Love. I'm just gonna line my lips a little bit. Now I'm gonna go in with this lipstick from Essence as well. This is the shade Bold. Um, the This Is Me lipstick. There we go. It's a very sheer finish so I really like the texture it doesn't dry out my lips or anything so I really like it and then I'm just gonna put some of this lip balm over top this is a Disco lip, lip therapy one they make a bunch of these I really like it for my lips like it really helps when I have like chapped lips I'm just gonna put a little bit on top of this and there we go okay now I wanted to show you guys a little trick that I learned um, a few videos back I actually spoke about this product and that I didn't really like it. Uh, but then I saw someone on Instagram using it and I wanted to give it another go. So I figured out a way to use it. This is the Essence Glow to Go Illuminating Setting Spray. And my issue was with it when you spray it there's like these white specks all over your face. So I tried something new and I really like it. <laughs> So what you do is you spray it on the back of your hand, okay, <laughs> then you take your beauty blender and then you just apply it, very very lightly tap it over your face to really just set everything in place. And I've found that that really really works for me. It keeps my makeup in place, it makes me look nice and illuminates it lit from within and then yeah and if it's too much for you you just use a clean side of the beauty blender to just kind of pick up some of that product okay you guys this is the look that i came up with um yeah i was gonna straighten my hair but it's curling pretty nicely actually so i'm just gonna leave it um yeah i feel like this was really good for me to do uh, i haven't worn makeup in a week so yeah this really just lifted my spirits so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what you will do today and what you are doing like in a self-care day and how you've been coping with the whole quarantine thing and everything like that. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.